the plague is upon us, the plague of the livestock. So let's look at just three verses today in Exodus 9, just verses 5 through 7. It says, The Lord has already set the time for the plague to begin. He has declared that He will strike the land tomorrow. And the Lord did just as He had said. The next morning, all the livestock of the Egyptians died, but the Israelites didn't lose a single animal. And remember, we've now started to differentiate here that the plagues are not affecting the Israelites as they're located in the land of Goshen, which is, if you look at the Nile River on a map, the land of Goshen is up by the Mediterranean right to the right of the Nile River is where the land of Goshen generally is seen to be. So, verse 7, Pharaoh sent his officials to investigate and they discovered the Israelites had not lost a single animal, but even so, Pharaoh's heart remained stubborn and he still refused to let the people go. So, as I've talked about previously, some of these different plagues were directed against certain gods. This plague, I would say, was directed against the Egyptian god Hathor, who was often seen in the form of of a cow, Um, was considered like a, a mother goddess. So the Egyptian religion considered cows sacred, you know, kind of like the, the Hindus today consider the, the cow sacred. So there they were, all of their cows have just dropped dead, right? There's a plague, all of their livestock. And understand how important this is. This is, this is insanely important. These animals would have been used to work, they would have been used to, to provide, some of them would have been used, been used to provide meat. They would have been used to provide milk. They would have been used for all these different purposes. And they're just now all dead. So this is a blow at the economy and the pantheon of gods for Egypt. This hits across everything. And so they considered cows so sacred, the Egyptians did, that there is an ancient account of a battle that took place where the opposing army sent a herd of cattle out in front of them towards the Egyptians, and the Egyptians refused to use their slings or their bows and arrows or anything um, and wound up and lost the battle because they didn't want to accidentally shoot a cow. So they were very serious about this. But remember what God did here also in that He separated, right? He had the land of Goshen He with the Israelites. They were fine. It was the Egyptians that were hit with this. And so this is God showing, these are my people. I am protecting them and I am striking at you. So God is once again just showing His power to differentiate. So once again, another Egyptian god has been knocked to its knees and the people have been hurt because of the stubbornness of the heart of Pharaoh. See you later.